Hello, everyone. Um, prayers I have are for my health, uh, my depression, anxiety, our finances, my friend Bobby's health, my friend um, Stanley, that if they don't get their rent paid by Monday, they're going to get kicked out. So please lift them up in prayer. Um, if you have prayer, just let me know. And 52 devotions for cat ladies. And today's topic is, did I read that one? Um, joy and hardship. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials. James 1, 2. Emily had been her cat for 12 years when she got sick. She started losing weight and drinking lots of water. We took her to the vet and learned she had hyperthyroidism. This diagnosis meant she'd be on medicine for the rest of her life. At first, I was so relieved her condition was treatable that I didn't realize how difficult it was going to be to give a cat a pill twice a day. Her tiny mouth made it almost impossible for me to poke the pill down her throat, and she was too smart to eat something with the pill hidden inside. We went back to the vet for a solution. He explained that cats were motivated by food. If we sandwiched the pill popping in between treats, she'd be much happier about the situation. He also provided a plastic syringe that held the pill, making it possible to place the medicine at the back of her mouth so that she had to swallow it. Within a few days, we had a routine. We placed two small treats in her favorite perch. She'd leap up, eat the treats, and then we administer the pill, following up with two more treats. One day, we were in a hurry and forgot our routine. Emily set up a yelling that could have awakened the dead. She wanted her treats, and she wanted them right now. I rushed to her... I rushed to do her feline biting and couldn't help but grin. She'd taken a bad situation and flipped it upside down, turned it into something that brought her joy. God provides opportunities for joy no matter the stress or struggle we face. We always have a choice to focus on the struggle or the good that comes out of it. God wants us to face our difficulties like Emily. He wants us to find the joy and use it to lift our spirits. Dear Lord, I long to look at life like Emily did. She took something that should have made her miserable and turned it into something she looked forward to. Show me how to find the positive in the difficult situations. Remind me that there are always reasons to be joyful. You have poured out countless blessings on me and those I love, yet I still look for the smallest speck of hardship. Work in my heart and change my attitude from the inside out. Pause to think. How can you look at a current situation differently and find joy in it? Did you know there are an estimated 200 to 600 million cats alive on Earth? And that is it. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Saturday. And God bless.